Hey Sagittarius, what's up? It is Ray. I am here with your November 2021 monthly predictions. I just gotta say, some of y'all got a lot going on. Okay, hold on, let me fix this. Okay. But yeah, some of y'all got a lot going on. Okay, so getting into the energy of your reading. Let me breathe. Some of y'all need to breathe. Okay. By getting into the energy of your reading, I want us to smoke first, right? So I was like, okay, let me smoke real quick. Then I was like, I'm supposed to be <laughs> taking a step back from smoking. Then I was like, okay, well, how can I just do this in a healthier way? Should I should I create a water bong, like make one real quick and just smoke it up a water bong? And then I was like, no, let me just let me just do what I normally do and just, you know, smoke real quick. So I did what I normally did. And then I decided to smoke outside. So I went outside. So I feel like November, you're spending a lot of time outside. Like when the sun is out, you're out um, so that you can get the last of the the summer energy that's lingering um, before we really get to the cold. Um, <clears throat> you're nervous about something. You're nervous about something, you're hype about something, you're anticipated about something. Also, there's um, on a card that's in front of my home. I've seen this card the entire time I've lived here. I lived here for over a year, but I never paid attention. Ooh, hit me in my chest. I never paid attention to, um, I always look at license plates, but around this particular license plate, it said built for tough. So, you may be feeling like t tough as fuck in the month of November, and that's good. Like you're feeling strong, you're you're vibrant, you're feeling high, you're wanting to make he healthier choices for yourself, um, you're wanting to make healthier decisions for yourself. Um, you're definitely um, allowing your crown to spend time in the sun. Um, a lot of downloads are coming in for you in the month month of November as well. When you have a thought and you see a leaf fall that's a message when you have a thought and you hear a bird chirp that's a message when you um when you're out in nature you may see a lot of blackbirds a lot of crows a lot of hawks um and mockingbirds were all that i saw when i were, when i was outside um thinking about your energy so let's see spirit please speak to me as I deliver November 2021 messages for the sign of Sagittari Sagittarius. And also Sag is like, with the build for tough, like um, I can definitely see how that energy resonates with you because as we enter Sagittarius season on what I believe it's November 21st, November 20th or 21st, I think it's the 21st, I'm not sure, it's one of those days though. But as we enter Sag season, Sag season is also the beginning of eclipse season because uh, the full moon in Taurus that is November 19th is like the last day of Scorpio season and then the day after is Sag season. So it's the start of eclipse season. So this is gonna be a powerful transform transformative time for you. And um, even though this is a Sag reading, it's not based on any specific placement. Um, if you have a specific placement, this is for you. If it resonates, it resonates. Yeah, you're definitely step into, stepping into your power. I'm going to try to pronounce this. It may be wrong. I apologize, but I think it's Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi. Or Anima, Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi. But yeah, you are, you are ascending. Like, this is divine ascension. This is divine transformation. This is you're rising above the norm like you're stepping outside of your comfort zone you're stepping into your true power your true purpose during this time like the fall and winter for you are going to be so powerful you're going to see it's like why your entire life was set up the way that it that it has been like for what you're about to receive for what you're about to download for what you're you're um, you're ish but for what you are about to embrace damn i couldn't get that out like it's so big it's so big like look at the energy of this card like do you see that do you see that energy she he or she 
And this is this is energy. We're not focused on a person. This is energy. It's just sitting and just connecting. Like it's like you're, you're connecting with with everything. You're connecting with Earth. You're connecting with the spirits in your home. You're connecting with your angels, your ancestors. Like you are really tapping into another realm, another plane, and you are. It's like you're going for the gold. Like that's what I see. I love this. The shaman, yeah, you're tapping into your true power. You may also be connecting um, with a mentor during the month of November as well. The animal, yeah, the animal within is igniting within you. And the Sagittarius energy is half man, half beast. So the half beast is igniting. Like, it's like you've been in, in that half man energy. Um, I'm getting both, right? So you've been in that half man energy where you've just really been like in your emotions, like in your head, in your feelings, like pouting, like things are going good for you, but they're not going as good as they could be going for you. And you just know that there's something better. And then it's like, as we go through Scorpio season in the month of November, get closer to Sagittarius season, like, like it's like you're tapping it's like you're tapping into the occult right with the shaman card and what i'm seeing it's like you're, you're tapping into space you're tapping into the occult you're tapping into the darkness and you're really pulling out divine fucking power like i can't explain it like something is ignited within your soul i'm looking at the animal in his eye and how eyes are keys to the soul like something is ignited in your soul for you to step into your power okay Anything else for Sagittarius from the stack for the month of November? Yeah, the shadow. Um, with the shadow for you, you're being called to balance out your light and dark aspects. Like, I feel like you may have, well, if you don't have any like major Scorpio placements, Scorpio season is powerful for you. It's powerful for you because it's integrating the light and dark aspects of yourself for you to truly tap into your true potential and true power and really like be what God designed you to be on this planet. Like it is time. It is your time now. It's time for you to step into your purpose. It's time for you to step into your divinity. It's time for you to step into your ancient wisdom, your ancient knowledge. It's time for you to reconnect. Yeah, reconnect. Reconnecting is a theme for you. And especially with the with how his hand is reaching out. It's giving me heavy reconnection vibes. And with the snake and the shaman card, like, yeah, transformation for sure. And also, even though this is an animal around his eye, it looks like a bird's nest to me. So you are um, you're recreating sanctuary for yourself. You're recreating a new life for yourself. You're re recreating a new home for yourself. You're recreating a new, a new family for yourself, like inner and outer. Like you're, it's like you're, you're becoming family within yourself. Like with the way that you're connecting to the inner self, the inner child and your higher self and your spirit team and God and source and angels and ancestors and Orishas and all of that. And then the external world is just because of how you're connecting within the outer world is connecting like that as well. Like it, it's so beautiful. It feels so beautiful. Um, and this is interesting because I've had this deck. Called, this is my personal ancestor deck and I grabbed it unconsciously. So let's see what message spirit has for you from this deck. I'm sorry if it's loud. I definitely check out all of your signs. I'm gonna do all 12 signs. Ooh, we have torment. You've been what you've been putting yourself through. Son of water reverse. Emotions. Come, Sag, all of this. Okay, this is the shadow that's coming out. Let's get into the shadow. Because your shadow is coming out in the month of November. Um, I hear Usher. Can you handle it? Can you handle it if I go there, baby, with you? Mm, the devil's popping out. Anything else for Sash for the month of November? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, all right. Love and conflict. Okay, <laughs> this is, okay. All right, okay, all right. 
there's a story here. <laughs> Spirit been telling a lot of stories today. Hold on, give me a second. Let me put the story together and then I'll explain it. But I am being called to pull from the shadow deck. Ooh, the lovers is on the bottom. Reverse Gemini energy. Spirit said keep that. I'll keep that. All right. Interesting. Okay. The high priestess was under that. I know we got a repull. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Shadow. November. Spirit. Thank you. Ooh, okay, we're about to get a little deep, Sag. We're about to get a little deep, deep, deep. We're going to get deep. And then we're going to get into love. And then we're going to get into some whatever else Spirit says we need to get into. All right. So let me put the story together. All right. Spirit, what's the story? We started with this. All right. There's two separate messages, kind of, sort of. They tie in together a little bit. Okay, so you got yourself stuck into a situation with this torment card. Okay, he has this around his own neck. He's holding it to his neck. So you, um, and this is Mercury energy. So um, Mercury is here. Taurus is here as well. So it's like you talked yourself into a trap, okay? You talked yourself into a trap. Um, it's... <laughs> uh, sorry, 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 the visuals. Okay, but you talked yourself into a trap and it's like you, with this trap, this trap, with the, this trap became material attachments, right? With this Taurus energy. Um, it, it's like... Have you ever seen the movie A Thin Line Between Love and Hate? So in A Thin Line Between Love and Hate with Martin Lawrence, right? You know how Shorty Shorty was, was rich in things, right? And she was given, like, letting him use her limo and all of the things and gave her him a key to the crib. I think she gave him a key. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. But that type of energy is what I'm getting. It's a thin line between love and hate. And so that situation in that movie somehow applies to you Sagittarius with this torment card and with this sun of water being the page of cups reversed you thought something would fill your cup and it actually emptied your cup and this was this caused destruction in your life destruction is reversed so this is i'm getting this is something especially with you talking your you talked yourself into this um or you talked your way into this or, or into this yeah you talked your way into this you set yourself up for in it you put you set yourself up in your own trap um and emotions got involved right and this caused it caused separation it caused destruction it caused hell is higher moments in your life and then you started focusing on all of the money clothes and cars and all of the investments and all that you with this temperance card which is sagittarius energy and this is standing out from these two and so how you just poured so much into this situation that you talked yourself into, right? And then, and it's like now you're stuck. It's like you're stuck and you don't know how to get out. But then over here, there's a new beginning, right? It's like you're, you're, you have this sad ass, <laughs> I'm sorry, but sad ass energy going on over here, right? Because, okay, hold on. It's about to tie it together with your... Uh, naked before the stars and blinded to pain. And this actually came out in the what Aries full moon pick a card I just did. So over here, right, we have Ace of Earth, which is the Ace of Pentacles, love, conflict, the full reverse, strength, and the lovers, right? So you have a new beginning um, in love and partnership. This could be with anything. This could be with a partner. Um, this could be with a friend, this could be career, this could be project, this could be, um, love can come in a multitude of forms. So, you know, take it how it resonates for what love is for you, um, during the month of November, this love that you're attaching to, 
or growing to growing with or yeah growing to interesting or growing with that's a new beginning um but whatever this new beginning is there's conflict here okay there's there's um hesitance hesitancy to take a risk right but um strength is required here strength is required because of all of this sad shit that happened over here this self entrapment that you caused and spirit is saying with the shadow coming out you need to recognize how you created your own issues and how this has been a pattern for you in your life so when you start whatever this new love is over here the same pattern is not carried out and i'm seeing here with the conflict and with the full reverse there are some old patterns that have started to um contaminate i would say that word's been coming up a lot for me lately and i really don't use contaminate but in my vocabulary but it's been in my vocabulary this last week um but yeah whatever this negative cycle that you talked yourself into that you got trapped in it's kind of playing out in this new beginning so spirit is saying you need to go back you need to go within you need to connect with your inner child with this cup and you need to see where this started um, and shift this energy because even though this is Gemini energy and I see the Gemini, it's like, I, it's so crazy, right? Because there's no specific length of the two lines that are in between. Like I'm, I'm thinking of them like two pillars, like the pillar, the pillars are on, are on the wrong side right now and it needs to flip. Like the Gemini, the Gemini sign needs to get back into its higher balance because right now it's it's operating in its lower energy so this lower energy of gemini it being air sign would be thoughts these are unhealthy thoughts especially with the way the devil is looking daydreaming just all up in his head just negativity 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 this this negativity that has the power to be longevity as you see the ancestors and things are all in the trees um there's conflict here because you are <sighs> spirit is asking you to be fully vulnerable in whatever this new beginning and this new love is whatever is trying to um it's like your shadows are being called out in this new beginning so that they can be shifted so that you can be your best self to achieve like all spirit has um set up for you to achieve but you're with this blinded to the pain with this 13 scorpio season is going to be transformed for you some some wounds that you some wounds right w-o-u-n-d-s some wounds that you have just it's like when you <clears throat> it's like when you when you get a cut right you get a deep cut and this is deep like <laughs> you you cut your skin to the bone right let's just say something happens you get cut and instead of you like disinfecting it and you know making sure that it doesn't um get infected and it stays clean you just say fuck it and you put a band-aid over it and you go whatever you have done in your life where you responded that way just not not cleaning it not nurturing it um that wound is going to be reopened for you in the month of november for you to face it for you to honor it and for you to transcend it transmute it to become the best version of yourself and for you to be ready and fully um deserving i know i didn't want to say it like that but fully deserving to receive what spirit is about to bless you with because the blessings baby are really 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 beautiful okay so that's your shadow let's get into let's just get into your love life real quick let's see what that look like what, what deck we using all right what does the love life of sagittarius look like in the month of november spirit sagittarius love life november sorry if it's loud Sagittarius, love life. Look at you on the bottom again, temperance. Angelic guidance. You're being divinely guided, okay? If things get frustrating for you. <laughs> Why the fuck am I laughing? If things get frustrating for you, Spirit is saying, it, it, it's, it's, 
you're doing it to yourself, so release it. Release it so you can embrace this new beginning. Yeah, it's you. Okay, let's get into love. Love for Sag Spirit, love for Sag in November. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have the world. We have Two of Swords. We have Knight of Wands. We have the Hermit reversed. Okay. Ten of Swords reversed. High Priestess reversed. All right, let's clarify spirit. Why is Two of Swords here for love for Sash? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, not again. Okay. Why is the Hermit reversed for Sash? For love. Sash, what the fuck? What was? Hmm. Why is the high priestess reversed? Okay, I see what's going on here. Okay. There's a lot of looking at somebody from afar, but not making a move. Cause there's hella phones, computers, a lot of. <laughs> Like, page, okay, no, hold on. The Hermit, computer, Ten of Swords, reversed, phone. The High Priestess, reversed, computer, Two of Wands, phone, okay. A cycle needs to end in order for love to, in order for love to meet one another. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so we have the world, Queen of Wands reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed, Two of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Hermit reversed, Five of Cups reversed, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords reversed, the High Priestess reversed, Death, Five of Wands, Three of Swords reversed, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups, okay? So with this, right, there's a cycle that needs to end fixed energy you're fixed in something when it comes to love okay you're fixed and with the swords energy and with the three of swords being reversed like the the message okay it's really it's really really simple sag the message is the past is not your present nor is it your future so release it okay you are not the same person that attracted that before as I did say prior, like earlier in your reading, yes, there is a cycle that you have had in the past that you need to, that's going to be revisited for you in the month of November. It's going to be brought to your awareness. This may be through social media um, when it comes to matters of the heart, or you may see something, you may hear something, you may read something, I don't know. Or you may be actually connecting with a person through social media. Y'all may be in the talking phase on social media because that is the thing these days, um, especially with what has happened in the world over the last two years. So with that being said, um, you worry too much, baby. Like you really, you worry too much, Sag. You worry too much and you really, really need to heal and release, okay? The past, it's, it's done. It's done, okay? I don't know who needs to hear that, but it's done. So you need to release it, okay? It no longer serves you. It's no longer a part of you. You're no longer going to experience that pain. So release it. I've actually been telling someone with Sag placements this lately. Actually, a couple of Sag placements this lately. So this is interesting. It's coming up now. So this is collectively for, for Sag energy. Like, it's okay to... It's okay... I know what pain feels like. I know what heartbreak feels like. I know what hurt feels like. And I know how that betrays your trust. I know how it makes you hesitant to want to move on and to start a new journey in the future. But it's okay to do so. It's okay to do so. And it's okay to do so with faith, with courage, because 
it, it's it's vulner, it's vulnerability for you and and i don't know who the fuck is getting teary-eyed as i say this but baby it's okay like it's okay cry it out cry it out release the last little bit of it now release that shit so you can enjoy this ten of cups energy that is shining bright like out of all of these cards on the board even with the major arcana the most outstanding card is this ten of cups like that's what's trying to come in for you this anima mundi energy like look at this and look at this do you see this do you feel the energy because this is energy listen to the shaman baby i'm trying to reconnect you okay but heal so you can um be set towards your your new direction so you can really have this queen of wands energy upright and take your power back and go towards your new direction swiftly like you're keeping yourself in a stagnant place you're keeping yourself stressed out it's like you're you're wishing wanting and all of these things but the reason why it's not happening is because you still need to release with this three of swords refers stop battling yourself and make a move baby the move is to release okay release and let it go so you can live your best life i'm hearing i'm living my best life i ain't going back and forth with you all right let's go through the sacred destiny deck Sag, November 2021, Spirit, Sagittarius, November 2021, pleasure, pleasure awaits you once you release and release that whatever cycle that you've been carrying into this new beginning you're trying to create and take your power back and, and, and shed it once and for all and be done with it, okay? It's your past, leave it in the past, stop bringing the past into the present, Spirit is saying it, it, it's no longer valid, okay? The past has nothing to do with the present, okay? That shit is, it's null and void, dead, done, gone, period. <laughs> okay? Embrace your present because the, the present and the future is full of pleasure and miracles. Baby, this is... So, handle your business. Handle your business and become whole again so you can enjoy your miracles and, and consistent pleasure. There's so much potential that awaits you that, that's just waiting to explode. But God is waiting on you, baby. Listen to the higher wisdom that I'm that I'm giving you. Listen to the higher wisdom that spirit has been giving you, that angels, ancestors, guys, and anyone else like myself has been giving you. Love awaits you. True love, real love. Oh, you've been enlightened. You've been enlightened. November is gonna enlighten it for you so much abundance awaits you baby so much but but uh, so much abundance awaits and my tongue like that y'all still some freaks you know man i feel it freaky all right let's see any final messages before we see what you need to surrender final messages for sagittarius spirit When it comes to two of pentacles, nine of pentacles reversed, three of cups reversed, okay. So when it comes to matters regarding finances, material, whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve um, that isn't coming to fruition, I feel like this is a lot of focus on money, like a November is a focus on money and income. And it's not as balanced as it normally is, and it's not. it may not be as fruitful as it normally is. This may have you in your head a lot, but your energy is here, the star. No, I'm sorry, fuck. I was thinking about Aquarius. Um, I just did Aquarius. Watch the Aquarius reading. <laughs> but tap into the energy of Aquarius. That, thank you, Spirit. Tap into the energy of Aquarius, the star. Think outside of the box that was in Taurus's reading. Um, and have hope. Pour okay with the way she's pouring these cups out and then looking up to spirit whatever worries you have when it comes to the material world or whatever you're looking to achieve pour that out to the universe pour it say what you need and desire and release it once you release that and know that it's done it's done don't start to second guess it don't start to overthink it i'm hearing all of your your needs are always met they will always be met stop worrying stop stressing you're creating the imbalance for yourself because you're worrying so much you need to Know that you are divinely protected, you are divinely guided, your needs are always met, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and you will always know the way in divine timing, okay? All right.
ready already, guys. Let's see what you need to surrender to spirit. Um, you need to definitely drink more water. I am hydrated, right? Dehydrated right now. Forgiveness and aging. Forgiveness says healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. Aging says, I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. And then work. <laughs> work says, I'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. Come through, spirit. Okay. Okay. You see, this was like, you know, when you pop the champagne bottle and it spill everywhere. That's what just happened with my water. And the three of cups was on the bottom too. It's time to celebrate. The time to pop bottles is coming as soon as you accept your past release it stop worrying about how old you are stop worrying about what you didn't do at a certain age what you could have did at a certain age everything is a divine is in divine order um but as far as work if you're looking for work or if work is slow in the month of november just know that god provides complete and all prosperity for you at all times you never have to worry as soon as you start to worry you start to doubt god stop doubting god and you'll be good okay but I love you, Sag. Have a dope November and have a dope eclipse season. Okay, I will see you soon. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, donate, book with me, connect with me. I love you. Bye.